down to earth with a bump. The food bank, the Felix project has said that it's receiving less donations than usual, despite producing more meals in 2020 than the year before. The charity is warning that a combination of redundancies and a reduction in universal credit in November will mean more UK families will need to return to food banks. To help, the charity is opening a new kitchen today in East London, one of the worst places in the country for child poverty. To talk to us in more detail is the chef, writer and food activist, Melissa Hemsley. Hello to you, Melissa. Thank you for joining us on the programme. Um, it's been a tough 18 months for food banks, hasn't it? It really has. And the Felix Project, the largest London food redistribution charity that I'm representing today and volunteer with, have actually quadrupled their operations in the last year uh, in line with the, the demand, the rise in demand. And we have a food crisis, we have a hunger crisis, and Felix Project aims to bridge the gap between the two and get food to people that need it, and especially families over the school summer holidays. So tell me what the Felix Project is announcing today. It's really important news, so thank you for covering it, Kay. Uh, today is the launch of Felix's Kitchen, which is part of the Felix Project. It's the first kitchen we've launched. It's happening here in East London, and it's to serve the East London boroughs, Newham, Tower Hamlets, and so on. And the aim is to uh, rescue food, that a perfectly edible, healthy food that is going, otherwise going to go to waste. We sort it in the depot. It then goes into the kitchen next door where a team of professional chefs and a massive team of volunteers prepare the food to make healthy packaged uh, ready meals. And then they're delivered to local charities on the ground. We work with about a thousand food charities and that will then go to families that need it, that really could do with the support. Uh, you uh, describe yourself, Melissa, as a, a lover of leftovers. Do you have any top tips for people on what to do with leftovers? Oh, yeah, don't get me started, Kate, absolutely. Well, one great thing that I always do on a Friday is make a Friday frittata. I mean, it's a Monday today, but you could do it today. And it's a great way of combining eggs with about 50% of vegetables, baking it, and then you get lovely thick slices that you can take on the go. Another great way would be to um, grate any leftover veg into your favorite family-friendly meals like bolognese and lasagnas and curries. That's a great way of getting more veg in and stopping them from going to waste too. OK, Melissa, it's good to talk to you. Thanks very much. Good luck with the project. It's, I know the Felix Project well, and they do amazing work. Thank you.